Hey, what's up, everyone? I figured um, an interesting film that I'd like to talk about is a classic one, and that one is the 1997 version of Cinderella, which was initially released as part of uh, The Wonderful World at Disney, and at the time, the, at a budget of $12 million, it was considered uh, one of the most expensive uh, Wonderful World at Disney movies at the time, but what makes it rather interesting is, you know, that it has, you know, Brandy from Alicia, you know, playing Cinderella in this version, and of course, the late Whitney Houston, uh, you know, played the, you know, the the fairy godmother, and and of course, initially, uh, she, she was considered for the part of Cinderella, but you know, but once the movie went into production, she felt that she was too old for the part, and you know, recommended Brandy for the role, but of course, you know, Brandy accepted the role upon the condition that. Uh, Whitney Houston would play, you know, the fairy uh, godmother, and it has a pretty wonderful diverse cast, including, you know, Whoopi Goldberg and uh, Victor Garber playing the parents of the Prince Christopher, your character, and then you have Jason Alexander from Seinfeld playing uh, Lionel, and then of course you have Bernadette playing the wicked, Bernadette Peters playing the wicked uh, stepmother, and it's kind of amazing that you, you know, despite the movie being nearly 25 years old, it had, like, you would call, like, a cult following, and considering its uh, recent release to Disney+, Plus, it makes the film even more uh, popular than ever, and it's crazy how there's been uh, so many different versions of Cinderella, including, you know, the, the animated version, the, the one from 2015, and, of course, many other modern takes on Cinderella, but different... I guess, backstories, I guess, to it, if uh, you would say, and like I said, the film's, you know, good to watch, since, you know, it has great music, particularly between uh, Brandy and Cinderella, and of course, you know, like every other different take on the Cinderella story, it's, you know, the, like certain things that this one doesn't really have, like, you know, Jack, the Jack and Gus mice from the animated movie and the Lucifer it can but like I said, it's a really enjoyable and interesting uh, film, you know, to watch. And I definitely recommend it uh, to people to, to see, since it's definitely, I would say, one of the better versions of the live-action adaptation of Cinderella. And it, I guess you could say also, like, culturally uh, significant as well. So that's pretty much uh, my verdict on the 97 uh, version of Cinderella, and that's pretty much all I have to say. <laughs> all right, everyone, thanks again.